Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. So, look at this. This is the good stuff. I made this tea last night. This is the organic Earl Grey tea. It is so good, you guys. If you make it good, it's going to be really good. So, what I did is I made giant ice cubes. Look. It's very hot here. Yes. So this this channel and welcome to all the new followers. Yes. I'm very grateful. I'm trying to appeal to seniors. So if you are a senior and you are new, great. But if you're if you're one of my old followers and you're not a senior, that's good too. Okay, so what I want to make is some pizzas on top of the stove. I don't want to heat my oven because, you know, it's like a, a if it was just me, this is about a half a package, and this is going to make a lot of, of uh, pizzas. So what you need for this stuff is you need warm water. So I just want to use uh, tap water, but I want to get it warm. And so um, I stockpiled this uh, pizza crust mix because if you're at the end of the month, and you start running out of bread, but now that you're following me, that's probably not going to happen. You're not going to run out of anything because you're going to go to the food bank. Um, I read, I saw online yesterday that in the city of, of um, L.A., they have about 2,000 people going to the food bank. Uh, here, I haven't been to the food bank since uh, right before the, the pandemic, you know, the close down. But if I needed food, yeah, I would go. So I have warm water and I have a little oil. I figure you need the warm water to, uh, I'm trying to pour the oil in, <laughs> to uh, activate the yeast. So what I want to make is I want to make some on top of the stove uh, pizzas. And I want to make little ones, kind of like those fry bread donut, those pancake donut things I made. Uh, this, uh, if you buy one of these uh, pie crust, I, I'm stirring this dough up just like I stir my, uh, just like I stir my biscuits up. I'm not using a heavy hand on my dough. I don't want to do that. I don't want tough dough, you guys. Okay, so over here I have some lard and it, it's melting and I want to create like an oven. So on top of this, I want to put my um, lid to trap the heat in. So what I'm trying to do is just create, create, uh, um, I turn my, um, my heat down to medium because I don't want my, my, uh, heat cooking too fast and burning my, uh, burning my little pizzas. So if you're a senior and you started running out of um, bread, one of these pizza mixes could get you by for the rest of the week, you know? So now I want to make myself some little, little pizzas. This is actually quite a bit of dough, you guys. So what you want to do, the reason I'm making this much is because my son is coming. And so what I'm trying to do is like, you know, normally we had uh, sugary snacks. Oh, I'm still having sugary snacks. I'm just trying to tame them down a bit. So I want to make four little pizzas. 
So this would easily be four fry breads, easily. And then, you know, I have some, notice, 50% off. You guys, if you can start finding your stuff 50% off over time when you get the hang of it. This was a big can of spaghetti sauce for 50 cents as opposed to a dollar. So if you can start getting the hang of this uh, markdown shopping, um, you know, if you've been fairly prosperous all of your life, or if you have lived good at any time, the idea of doing this is very, very unappealing. I realize that. I've been on both ends of it. So I have some Parmesan cheese. I have, I'm just using whatever I have in my refrigerator. I have some turkey meat, budding turkey meat, and someone said, that stuff is awful. It isn't the best lunch meat, but, you know, it'll get you by, you know. One time in my son's school, you know, they wanted to have a Thanksgiving party, and they said, you know, my son tells me the night before, Mom, um, I need to uh, bring a turkey to school tomorrow. And I thought, what? Are you kidding me? So what I did was, and it was at 12 noon, the party. I sent my kid to private school. I, I mean, they used to really, I'm not a person who's deeply affected, fortunately for me, by what other people think. So right before the party, when I was supposed to bring the turkey, I went to the local pizza hut and I got two pizzas, yes, for the kids. And, and like, I thought, wow, you know, th they're going to hate me, the teacher. But I thought, you know what, pizza is good. And, you know, I just, anyway, it really went over like a lead balloon, but the kids loved it. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I was that kind of a mom. A lot of the moms didn't work, and they had, you know, fairly well-off husbands. So I said, well, that's fine for you, but, you know, hey, you know, i got to do the best I can. But the kids loved it. <laughs> After all, you guys, the party was for the kids, right? I made every attempt to do my part within reason. Okay, so I'm having a thin crust pizza. So, you know, I want to... I want to, you know, have a little, a little snack, you know, a little good snack. And so now, this is where my budding, uh, my budding turkey ham would have been good, but, you know, I had turkey, so hey. I have plenty of sauce. I have, um... I have uh, some uh, some um, pizza sauce in there, and that is cheaper. So I have a little cheese. Uh, I had Parmesan cheese. So what I don't want to do was I'm making little things like this is I don't want to, you know, really spend much money. I just want a little lunch. Am I going to be suffering eating my homemade pizzas? No. This is kind of like the turkey thing, you know? Uh-oh, my thing doesn't want to, my pizza doesn't want to come off. Flexibility is the key in life. Yes. And these don't take long, you guys. So, you know, to create an oven. And, and this takes very little of your resources. And then to go with my uh, pizzas. Now, this was a big hit, you guys. This really was. Where is it? You know, I'm eating my uh, freezer down, but that doesn't mean I can find it. My refrigerator and my freezer down. So what I have to go with it is, now this was a big hit. 
Uh, that's the Walmart coleslaw. So, uh, you know, if you can find some cheap little meals that are going to get you by. Now, this would be good if you had kids. I mean, you wouldn't have to put the stuff on it kids don't like. Mainly, though, kids will pretty much do whatever they're told. <laughs> If you tell them to do it in a reasonable way, like, would you like some pizza? And they'll go, yes. Just like the school party. Yes, they will like it. And like, even if they don't, you can explain to them carefully that possibly, you know, we have to be careful with our money to ensure our well-being. I mean, kids are pretty smart. I mean, the kids know we can't go to school because there's the pandemic. So, you know, if you explain to them, you know, we're going to be a little bit cheap for a while to make sure that the coast is clear and we don't lose our economic well-being. Uh, the kids are going to say, yeah, mom, that's a good idea. And it is a good idea. So. To go on top of so I'm gonna have my coleslaw and then to go on top of my pizzas I have chili peppers and Parmesan cheese just like I'm eating out these take about and then you know I have my cold iced tea so let me give you a good shot of these and I will take a picture of these when they're done on the thumbnail to show you how they turn out. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.